So here I am today on the campus of Brown University, one of the eight Ivy League schools, and sometimes it's hard when I'm giving presentations to explain the difference among the Ivy League schools, and of course the Ivy League is really nothing more than a football club. It was established so that athletes could play against one, one another, um, not because that the schools have anything in common academically. Of course, a lot of really great students go to places like this, but they're, they're all very different and structured differently. Brown's claim to fame is that it really has no structure. Uh, way back in the 1960s, 1968, and all of the, the um, let's call them reforms, that happened in education around the 60s, the idea was that there was no need anymore to teach the old uh, canon of academia. That prior to that, a lot of students took Greek and Latin, took a very prescribed curriculum, and the push in the 1960s was to eliminate all requirements. Brown still embodies that decision to eliminate all requirements and allow students to study whatever it is they want. So you have a major at Brown, but beyond that, you can take anything and everything you want. So there are no curriculum requirements other than completing a major. You also have uh, the option of taking classes without even ever getting a grade. Again, this idea of the 1960s of we, we can do anything we want, do whatever we want, it's, it's for us to decide and not the man. Uh, that is still very much the tradition at Brown. Other Ivy League schools have a different uh, set of priorities and a different curricular structure. Um, but Brown really is that freewheeling, do whatever you want, you don't even need to get grades if you don't want to kind of place. It's a very wonderful place. Providence is a, is a, uh, a fun town, interesting town. Uh, Thayer Street is kind of fun and funky, and of course the campus is, is beautiful, and the academic facilities are, are remarkable. But uh, don't think that all the Ivy League schools are the same. They're very different, not only in look and feel, but in the academic priorities set by the institution itself.